Hey everyone, so in this video we're going to create the effect of when a character is spinning their weapon really fast. So just like this screenshot I have here. So to start off, let's create our mesh. We're going to add in a circle. We're going to edit mode and fill in the circle. Yeah. Then we're going to unwrap the UVs. So let's show in the UV editor here we're just going to press U to unwrap and it just automatically unwraps it that's all we have to do for this back and we just go onto the shader so I get a new shader delete the principal PSDF and let's add in a gradient texture Doing. Then we're going to add in the mapping and texture coordinate node. Connect the UV to the vector. And we're going to change the green texture to video. Now we're going to add in the wave texture right after the gradient te texture. So we now we see these lines. So in order to center this, we just have to move the x and the y by 0 0.05. So we get we want it in the middle. We're gonna change this to rings. Click the spherical and then the sign to triangle. Now we can use the scale of the wave texture to control how many things we have on the circle. So okay, so now that we have that, we're gonna put in the X RGB. Change this one to the burn. Change second color to black. So this will allow us to control how thick the bands are. So this white part here is going to be this triangle part here. So if we want four, we can just go to scale. Uh, for like this. And we can size it. This is good. Now we want it to have a softer edge. Let's add another mix RGB. Change this color to the color dodge. This is gonna show how soft the edges are. If you want it just hard, like a straight line, then you could put it all the way up or put it down. So that's pretty much the base. Uh, notice we need to create the shape of the uh, of this. Now we just have to create um, these smears here. To do that, um, add in another wave texture. Wave texture here. Change this one to rings, spherical, and it's. We can connect this to. Same mapping node. And we're going to add in a mix RGB.
Right there. And we're gonna connect back into this. So what we have is this so far. We're gonna use this as the smears here, lines here. And then we're going to add another one. Right. Gonna change which part and how much of these rings you want it to appear. The scale is how much rings you want in the circle right here. Now we just have to mix this with our bands here and the other one. So we're going to add in a mix RGB. In the middle here, we're going to connect, use this to connect as the flat there. Move this out okay. okay, so now we have this. We have this controlling the factor of our bands from before. Control here, and then next we're going to add in more details on the spheres. Let's create another gradient texture. Okay. This one's going to become spherical. We're going to add another wave texture. Put a bit there. And we're going to connect this one to a color ramp. Gonna connect here. This is gonna be this again, but we're going to have it only affect using the color ramp, only affect you can control if you want to affect the middle or the whole entire circle. And right, then we just have to mix this with our data here. Now that we have all this, we just have to make it transparent. It's not transparent, it's just black and white right now. So let's add in a vision shader, a transparent BSDF, and a mix shader. We're going to use this as our factor. At the top, vision to the bottom. We have this. Alright, so then we have to go to material properties here. And with the blend mode to alpha blend. We also do not want. Okay, so now this we can get back here, we can see the rings. Increase the scale if you want. Is this too? I'm gonna play around with it.
There you go. And that's pretty much it. If you want to add you can also animate this too, but you just have to animate the phase. So phase offset in the in this wave texture. So you can let me make a driver. Um, hashtag frame divided by two frames. A space you can have this spinning. Or one frame if it's better if that's better. There you go. I hope this was helpful and see you guys next time.